Yo, what's going on guys? Today we finally get a look at Rackham and Fa Raid. One thing I will mention is that my health is rather low because Rackham doesn't have any health boost from the Akasha or the Ultima Sphere, unfortunately. And that kind of lowers its overall health. And I'm running the Magma Opus opposed to the Primal Opus, which would overall increase my health. One thing I want to mention though, how do you guys feel about me using Monkey in this raid? I think majority of my videos outside of like my first clear videos and the ones I did like a guide, I guess. Um, I generally tend to bring Monkey because you, you never know. Sometimes it'd be raids where I have to do like 3 million, 4 million, really ridiculous amount of, uh, of uh, points. And that does take quite a bit of damage. So I do end up needing the extra blue pots that I end up saving with monkey. So I just wanna know how people feel about it. Um, if people don't like it, um, I won't use her, but I, I think for more consistent we, consistency wise with these videos, that's why I bring her. I haven't heard anyone ever complain about it. I just wonder how people feel about it. But anyways, back to Rackham. Rackham's pretty cool. His skill two here does act as a dispel. I used to turn one. Um, Generally, I tend to use the spell over his bonus damage. I kind of find a hard time with it though. Like I don't, maybe I should have started off with the spell because right now, if I was to use his dispel on the first Ibilis, he would have had the bonus damage. So there's still some things that I, I need to work out with. Um, like I'm really not sure how to properly utilize him to the fullest. One thing that you do see me do here is that I use Rackham skill four on the incoming Athena so that she can get her Ogi off instantly to get the armor buff. One thing, I, that's one thing you should take note of that Athena armor does help, does help quite a bit. So me giving her the instant Ogi is very beneficial just so you get the armor. In this run, because I was rather slow with Monkey, we do lose a count though. Um, the one bad side of using monkey in videos like this, if I do come into a fast raid like the one I just joined, um, sometimes monkey does die a little bit too late because I'm not refreshing. So that's, that's like kind of the downside here. Now, Rackham over Esser, right? I'm pretty sure people are probably gonna be thinking about. One thing I noticed is that it's a lot harder to clear the 30 hit trial using Rackham. It's possible, don't get me wrong, it's possible as I do it in this video, but actually my first attempt of taking at uh, doing the 30 hit trial, I ended up failing. So what I generally do with Esther is I like to get full Ogi charge and sometimes Ogi with her, and then her, then she gets the guaranteed TAs and stuff. So that generally gives me enough for uh, for Esther to, to do the uh, 30 hit trial. But because I don't have the guaranteed TA on Esher anymore and her bonus damage, you're relying on Rackham. Unfortunately, Fa clears his debuffs when he goes into uh, the 50% trigger. So you can't really get the bonus damage for Rackham because the boss starts off in non-overdrive. So it's actually really hard to, to set it up to get it easy clear. Now, one thing that happened to me in this run is that I was the one who triggered the 50% trigger on the wing. So I ended up getting dispelled and then that hurt me a ton because I didn't have another skill two, my fault, skill three to get the double attack rate boost, which ended up having me single attack on all my characters. So I, I think it's a, it's a little bit harder and you have to be cautious of things with running Rackham over Esher when clearing the 30 hit trial. But other than that, I think you'll be fine. Just you really gotta be looking at that type of thing. And also don't Ogi. I Ogi because I'm used to it with Esser. If you're gonna go for a 30 hit trial, don't do it. It works with Esser. It does not work well with Rackham, unfortunately. You see right here, I'm doing it now. I'm hitting all my skills and stuff. And I, I maybe with like one, I, I didn't know how many hits I did, but I wouldn't be surprised if I was one hit off. And I could have done it too, because I didn't hit, uh, I didn't hit another skill too, because I felt that I would get it done, but unfortunately I did not. So that hurt quite a bit there. 
other than that, I think you can definitely swap out Esser with Rackham. Um, Rackham does do less damage overall though than Esser, because you know Esser had the break assassin buff and she has the skill four. But ra on average, Rackham should hit harder than her outside of her skill three and two. So, I mean, it, it, it's okay. Not to mention that Rackham does have the, uh, after a full chain, he will do the nuke at the end of turn, which is really nice. It may allow you to clear your trial if you are having a little bit of trouble with that on Magna. I don't think it'll be that much of a difference though, because Esther has all her gimmicks for her skill four and skill two. So it shouldn't be a huge jump, but for people who don't want to make Esther five star, Rackham is a solid option. And I think the biggest thing with Rackham is that the dispel is very crucial. So in older times before uh, Rackham five star, you had a hard time getting a dispeller and fire and people had to rely on like multiple Michaels to dispel. Now with Rackham, you, you're not nearly as reliant on having like two Michaels. Now you can definitely just have Rackham and your main character be a solid dispel combo. And if let's say the boss tends to ramp up really quickly from Axion, you can have Michael as a backup plan rather than your main plan. So that's one thing that Rackham provides to the team now. And for people who are new, I think Rackham may be better because from my experience in watching players like Final Eternal, shout out to you. Um, people tend to have a hard time with the lay the uh, the stacks because keeping track of it can be rather hard, especially on fire because fire does not have did not have a great dispeller. So Rackham giving that dispel is really good in my opinion. You don't have to run him. Maybe you want to be Mr. MVP in your first raid and you want to go brag to all your friends, you don't have to run them then. But from what I've seen, I think most players, if you do have access to Rackham, should run Rackham on the first couple of raids, just until you get more familiar with the raid, now that he uh, had to dispel, because it does matter quite a bit from my experience watching other players do this raid. Other than that, I don't really have much to talk about Rackham. I think that's about everything I covered. Now, I'm just going to rant about fire because I hate fire as an element. So, okay, I hate fire in this raid. Now, I know that this is mad random, but I can't. So, from playing every element in this in this raid, right, I've played every element quite a bit. At multiple clears on every element. I cannot stand this element. There's a point in this raid, which I think I did it earlier, like a, um, where I'm like waiting for phalanx and I get so fed up with waiting for phalanx that I end up autoing and I get hit with like tons of water damage because in this raid the dark player did not end up clearing the eight trial instantly so it's so and this element infuriates me so hard because you're reliant on other players every other element in this in this whole every other element they don't nobody else matter okay water you can ignore everything light you can ignore everything wind you can ignore everything Earth, you can ignore everything. Dark, you can ignore everything. Fire, bruh, you cannot ignore everything. Why is this element the only element where I have to use my, my tinfoil hat <laughs> and think about things? I can't stand it. That's my mini rant. I don't want to think in this raid anymore, okay? I want to hit orange button as quick as possible. Kamar, please give me a dumb character like all the other five LEs. Where they can just turn off their brain or give give fire garrison. You know, where's my garrison of fire? Okay? But what if I want to use fingers? What if I want to use a Prometheus grid? Okay? I want garrison of fire, okay? Make garrison of fire. 2019. Thank you. Anyways, I'll leave the rest of the video. You guys can finish watching. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. ミネルバスラスト。
この距離なら外さねえよっよっと我が力に共鳴せよ病気だぜ砕かれるとくだらんあまり。